we make poor choices or poor decisions because we lack experience or we are not competent enough. Yet, our intuition always kicks in and pokes us with the solution, however wrong that solution may be, as we saw in the cognitive reflection test. Confirmation bias then takes over and makes us find information in support of our intuitive suboptimal choice. So, how can we improve our decision making? In their book Decisive, Chip and Dan Heath explain the four key decision making traps. First, we look for options with a spotlight and not a searchlight. So we end up with very few options and sometimes only whether or not decisions. Within this narrow frame of options, our confirmation bias makes us look for information that supports our biases, assumptions and prejudices. Then, our short term emotions kick in and we replay the same arguments in our head. Finally, overconfidence bias makes us believe that we know how the future will play out. They suggest the wrap process to make better decisions. When you encounter a choice or a decision, don't narrow frame. Instead, widen your options. When you analyze options, reality test your assumptions to overcome the confirmation bias. While making a choice, your short-term emotions will tempt you. So, attain distance before deciding. Finally, to overcome your overconfidence bias, prepare to be wrong. For each step in the process, they suggest simple techniques. For example, to widen your options, you can take the opportunity cost test. Say you have decided to buy a television and there are several options at different prices. You can ask yourself, if you buy the cheaper set, can you then also buy an Apple TV? And if that choice will give you more entertainment. Or you could ask yourself, if instead of buying a television, should you take a vacation with that money? For overcoming confirmation bias, you can apply the Ooching technique. Run a small experiment to test your theory. For example, students can do several internships to have a better idea of where their interests lie. This will also help them make a wiser choice about which college to choose. To attain distance from short-term emotion, ask yourself the 10-10-10 time shift question. How will this decision feel in 10 minutes, 10 months and 10 years from now? In preparing to be wrong, you can apply the pre-mortem technique. Imagine the future death of your idea or project and then ask yourself, why did it fail? Think of all conceivable reasons that could lead to failure. You can then adapt your plans to deal with the potential negative scenarios better. If you follow a process instead of a pros and cons approach, you will better deal with the cognitive biases, beliefs, assumptions and emotions that can otherwise trick you into a suboptimal decision.